morning everyone welcome back and I'm Jennifer aka Jen Jen and we're gonna do a whip and chat today I am still slowly progressing on um, my dream catcher wolf as you guys know I've been sick for the last couple weeks so I didn't get to really work on it as much as I wanted to so today we're gonna work on it and whip and chat and just tell you about what's been going on this past week and excuse me and just pull out your stuff and listen and you can uh, craft and craft while I'm talking so let's see um, my week started off pretty good last week was pretty good I finally think I have finally gotten caught up on stuff just I'm going to tell you, when you're sick, and I told you guys, like, what now y'all are going to laugh at this. Last week, when I recorded a whip and chat after um, being sick for two days, Dingbat here didn't realize that she recorded two. I didn't notice this until last night when I was going through, um, actually yesterday, when I was uploading my um, True Crime Corner video, and I was like, why do I have two whip and chats up? on the same week I couldn't figure that out and I realized and I was like oh my gosh what the heck so I apologize that you got two whipping chats last week I didn't realize I did it um I was just totally I guess it happens when you're trying to remember from two weeks ago or you know after being sick what you recorded and what you didn't record I'm telling you I didn't remember I was like oh my god what the heck so yeah you got two uh, you got an extra whipping chat out of me last week and I was not intending that to happen <laughs> didn't mean for it to happen and of course now my lighting is kind of like gone away ah it was nice and sunny earlier and then so yeah um so yeah uh <clears throat> so if I don't have a excuse me I have a frog in my throat Oh, let's see. Um, hmm. Goodness. I've just been trying to catch up on everything. Little dude, I didn't really have to worry too much about. He got most of, he did most of his schooling on his own. And I checked on him every now and then while I kind of caught up and started doing stuff I needed to do. Because one of the things I needed to do was really, really clean my house. And... Of course, that's going slowly. I think when you're, when, I don't know if anybody else is like me, but when you're sick, you don't want to clean. And I'm the same way, especially when one of my kids is sick. I don't do anything. I don't do housework. I focus on them and um, just don't really worry about housework, especially when kids are sick. So... And I've gotten to that point, too. When I'm sick, I just don't, I don't really care. Now, Miranda and Justin and Skye did help out, you know, when I was sick. So, I didn't, re I don't really have a whole lot to do. But there's stuff that they, uh, they don't, you know, don't do. Like, now, Miranda, she can't clean the toilet. Because the last time she cleaned the toilet, regardless of the shape it was in, she just doesn't like cleaning the bathroom. Um, she can't stand it. Don't know why. She just gets this, you know, I, I don't even understand it. I, I don't know if, you know, anybody else is like that, but she just doesn't like to do that. She can't. Mm -mm. She'll go in there. The first time I tried to get her to do it, the first couple of times that I had her do it, she came out she looked at me. She said, no. Mm -mm. I, I don't <clears throat> so I don't make her clean the, the bathroom she does the the, the 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 she sweeps the kitchen floor and sweeps the bathroom floor and because I can't really get down on my hands and knees anymore to do the kitchen floor to mop it she does that for me so she um she did all that 
and you know then Justin and uh, Skylar and Justin took care of emptying the trash cans and all that good junk and um, Miranda taught Skylar how to dust so he you know he didn't he you know it was his first time doing that he didn't I mean granted he didn't do a very good job but he tried so which was the good thing and I made sure that they took Clorox wipes and wiped down everything and um now they're uh you know that's all done so basically all I got to do is just do major cleaning which I'm working on uh, uh, let me tell you I'm still trying to get motivated I still don't have a whole lot of energy but I'm trying to get um into that trying to get you know back into the swing still I mean I've caught up most of the stuff so I'm not really stressing about it and um we're just you know uh, it's been it's been fun trying to play catch up around here but um you know it's all good no big deal so I'm um today I think I'm going to relax. I pulled a muscle in my back again. I don't know how in the heck I do it. Don't ask me. I have no clue. Woke up this morning and my poor back was hurting like a, you wouldn't believe. So I'm going to relax today and, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, just kind of chill out. Put the heating pad on my back and chill because, and I think the other part of it is, and my knees are bothering me too, so I think another part of it is arthritis because it's supposed to rain um, <clears throat> this week. So I'm thinking uh, my arthritis flared up because of that. So now my back has nothing to do with it. But um, yeah, I'm just not feeling it today. So don't ask me why. I have no clue. Now I did have a... I do have a package coming. Now, I wanted to open it today during um, Whip and Chat because I I had originally decided that I was going to do a video every week of, you know, either subscriber mail or, um, you know, something like that. But I don't get enough subscriber mail, not that I'm complaining, and that I can do that kind of stuff with. And so I'm trying to, I'm waiting for a, um, good grief. I'm waiting for a package from Etsy. It's a diamond painting tray. And once it comes, it was supposed to be here yesterday. They're saying it's supposed to come today. So I'm hoping that I can, um, show that to you guys the next time. Now, if not, I'll show it to you. You know, I'll do a special video for it. I wasn't going to, just because it was one, you know, package. But, um, worst comes to worst, I'll just make a video for it. I don't know yet. Because, I, I mean, it was originally set, I was going to do, open it today. But, mail has been kind of slow. I had a couple things that were supposed to come at a certain date. Like, um, my needle minders that... I got for cross for my cross stitching that were supposed to come last last week and they it said that it was uh they were running late well had it said to do it on floss tube and that didn't happen but um the mail's been running kind of slow lately, and I get it, you know. I totally understand that. But, um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm kind of waiting for the tray. It's, it's now, it's in a color you all would least expect me to have, because those of you that have been watching me since the beginning know I'm one of these people that like the color brown and color black and all that kind of stuff. And this is a bright this this is a, this tray is one of uh, is a bright color and um <clears throat> but um i'm trying to change that so i'm trying to change you know i'm trying to be different 
because everybody's like, don't you like any other colors besides brown and green? And Yeah, I do, but I just, I don't know. I think part of the reason why I've always stuck with, like, neutral colors like that and, you know, dark tones like that is because, number one, my living room is dark brown. Um, the curtains in here are dark brown. I've always, you know, had that and just never really you know thought of changing it to a different color and my bedroom was the same way <clears throat> so when I got my um new comforter last week that is bright orange I uh, was kind of like you know okay now the funny part about all that is now when I decided to paint the apartment I decided okay well we're just gonna you know decorate finish decorating because I had been putting off the decorating of the apartment getting it you know looking somewhat decent around here because it does but it doesn't and anyway went to order the orange curtains for my bedroom now mind you I was re I must have read the description wrong because I thought there was two panels in the package. And I thought there was two panels that I was ordering. No, I only ordered one. So then, the, the other bad part was, I haven't really been measuring my windows. My windows are a weird shape, you know, weird measurement. And I don't really measure my windows. I just get the biggest, you know, curtain rod there is. So when I, I didn't even think to measure the windows so that Justin could go get me the right size uh, kern rod. Well, I just told him, I said, get the biggest one there is. Well, I guess, it, I'm not sure if they didn't have it, have that size or what, but he came back with the curtain rod. I thought, I didn't pay attention, I thought it was the right size. So he... You know, I went, Miranda's boyfriend, John, was going to hang him up, hang it up for me. Well, he came out and he looked at me. He says, this isn't even the right size. It's too small. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? So that and the fact that I only had one panel curtain in the, in the package, I was like, oh my gosh, this is just not working out the way I want it to work out. So that's being put on hold along with, you know, finished going to finish painting because I still haven't gone to get a roller. I went back to Dollar General. They don't have any rollers that fit my um, roller handle. So I need to go to Walmart. So I have to put off painting until I can go and get a roller. So yeah, everything's kind of at a standstill on that part. But, you know, I'm trying to make the effort because, yeah, so it, it's been, it's been fun. Let me tell you. So I just kind of like, I don't know. But uh, other than that, you know, I've been trying to get organized still. Um, trying to come up with some kind of storage solution for my craft stuff. And um, because my crafts are kind of like strewn out all over the apartment my diamond painting and everything is kind of here and then um sorry my light is not bright enough there we go um cross stitch is out here too but then i have cross stitch and diamond painting stuff back in my bedroom so yeah i need a place that's just one um little uh spot for all that because <sighs> I don't like having to roam around the apartment looking for something. So it, it's been, it's a work in progress. Let's put it that way. Oh, let's see. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, the kids are doing good. We are, um, now little dude, he did not feel well. Over the weekend, I think he caught what I had, which um, if you guys, you know, those of you that are new and don't know, I caught a stomach virus after uh, 
I had gotten sick from my toothache and anyway so I had this stomach virus for like four days well he didn't have it that long but I knew he didn't feel well because he came out Saturday night complaining stating that he didn't feel good Sunday he kind of just laid around and so Sunday night or Sunday I checked him and he had a fever so he kind of just laid um he kind of just laid around out you know out here in the other recliner and then um laid around on my bed and then yesterday morning I was going to go check his temperature and I told him to go get the thermometer well apparently now mm, you would think okay how did you not know this was broken I really truly didn't know that my thermometer was broken he brought it out to me and he says mom he says look at this and sure enough it was broken I was like are you serious right now but he didn't he didn't have a fever that I know of he didn't act like he did and I felt his head put my lips to his head and he was alright so he uh he just didn't feel good now Monday he ended up leaving virtual class because he um, just didn't feel good so and I made him you know lay down all day but he just and I could tell he didn't feel well but um he was uh, not feeling it at all so yeah that was our that was you know kind of our thing all last week was just trying to get organized and stuff and let me tell you something uh you would think right okay but um I just never realized uh, it's crazy when you're trying to organize I'm, I'm telling you because there are stuff that I found that I didn't even know I had but um yeah it's it's a work in progress we're just trying to get it all straight and um sorry my phone keeps going off and I'm trying to th figure out okay no it's not for me uh, it's not for me that's a good thing uh, thought it was for me so um mm, trying to think uh, Miranda's birthday was last Friday and she got a um, present from her best friend and her and her her and her k-pop crap let me tell you i don't understand that mess don't ask me i don't know i mean granted okay yeah my kid you know my my kid likes k-pop okay but i i don't understand it i really don't still trying to figure that one out and um so i had her go to the grocery store they went to the grocery store for me uh, Monday and I had her go ahead and get a cake because Skylar's birthday is Friday. The boy will be 11 years old. Oh my gosh, I feel old. So he, you know, they're, they got that and um, I'm going to make, you know, she's going to make, or, uh, well, one of us is anyway, make the cake for a little dude and all that crap. Um he didn't really ask for anything the only thing he asked for which I kind of you know guess this is his birthday present he got there's another spider-man game which I didn't know now you know don't laugh because I didn't know that there was another spider-man game it's um spider-man miles morales and I guess I didn't even know this game existed and apparently it takes place after the Spider-Man game that comes out on PlayStation. So he, uh, which he has too, he got that for Christmas. So, you know, I gave him that and um, he's played it. And uh, so, you know, I told him, I said, you can consider this your birthday present. And um, so it's, it's, I was watching him play it the other day while I was stitching and listening to a book and he or yeah yeah stitching and listening to a book sorry and um I just I started asking him all these questions I was like wait a minute 
And he's like, what? And I was like, I'm trying to understand here. And um, so it, it's... I don't know if the kid is a teenager. I'm assuming that the kid is a teenager. Uh, it doesn't really say. Of course, you know, I... Don't know. I haven't. I was kind of in and out paying attention, and I wasn't. And but it looks like it's a pretty good movie or game. Now I have to say I'm not into video games like he is, but the graphics are pretty cool. And um, it, it it's it was fun just kind of sitting there in between stitching and watching him, and um, so. He uh he had fun with it. It was you know he was enjoying it. So I um whoops did I not get that one? Where did that go? I guess it didn't go on my thing. Well then, oh boy, I didn't know what the deal was there. I don't know why it didn't pick up. I thought it did. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm ignore me. I'm just you know. Oh let's see what else has been going on, guys. Oh my goodness, I feel like I I. I still feel out of touch some. Um, oh, goodness. And I got a drill on my face. Really? How did I get a drill on my face? I have no clue. Um, yeah, y'all can laugh at me. I'm being crazy. Oh, uh, let's see. What else we can tell you about here? I did start. I don't know if I told you guys. I think I did. But I did get my books for my online class. So I'm getting ready to start. I was going to start it Monday. But I kind of needed to do some things first around here. Get, you know, kind of get myself straight for the week. So I am getting ready to start that. I don't know if I'm going to do it today. What time is it? I'll probably do it today. And, um gonna start on it today it's for paralegal I'm excited and um, I can't wait to start I gotta find I have a highlighter somewhere I need to find it cuz um, that way I can um cuz I was always taught to use a highlighter so we'll see but um, yeah I'm all excited about it can't wait to get started so goodness let's see um i finished reading a my um <clears throat> jd rob naked in death the first book in the in death series i finished that last night i was all uh, that you know was pretty good i'm trying still trying to get little dude to read and it's kind of like i don't know he I got I have Kindle Unlimited so I downloaded the first Harry Potter book and I downloaded the first Percy Jackson book and because that's what he wanted so I'm kind of hoping that um, he'll you know start reading it eventually he you know he wanted it and it kind of kind of I'm kind of disappointed that he hasn't started reading it he started reading Harry Potter now I don't know how far he got I don't think he got very far because I think he kind of got bored a little bit. But, um, we'll see. So, maybe if I start, you know, getting back into routine because I stopped reading at night. <laughs> don't ask me why that happened. But, uh, maybe once I start getting back into reading during, at night when I go to bed. Because that's what he would like to do. He would come sit with me while I read. And he would do his thing. So maybe, you know, once I start doing that again, he can, um, you know, he'll get into that. I'm hoping. Because he told me he likes to read. So I don't know. He's probably more interested in the freaking tablet than anything. And that's another thing we're going to have to start buckling down on. Because, don't get me wrong. You know, I don't care that he likes the tablet. It does keep him occupied. But I've been trying to tell him there are other things to do besides constantly be on the tablet. And 
of course, you know, that's been kind of going in one ear and out the other. So we'll see. So maybe once, you know, we'll see. Going to keep my fingers crossed on that one, guys. But um, I'm slowly listening to my audiobooks that I have just because I kind of stopped last week listening to them really, you know, like I have been almost all the time because I started binge watching Walking Dead again. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Don't get me wrong. I love the show. And I love, you know, that, you know, Negan's on there, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. But I kind of got turned off the show after Negan kind of stopped being, you know, after they, they captured him and now, you know, he was a prisoner and so forth. I kind of couldn't get into it. And then I started watching... I think it's what season 10 is out I started watching season 10 and I couldn't really get into it either because you know number one he's sitting in the in the prison cell and number two you know he's getting ready to you know be with the whispers or whatever and I just I don't know I, I'm kind of I don't know I when I because I've been kind of going through and looking at some of the the previews and stuff and I I don't know I just kind of couldn't get into it at all I really really couldn't I I don't know if it's just me or what now maybe because I'm binge watching it maybe I'll get into it again I don't know I I don't know we'll see it just kind of turned me off because you know the whole him being the arch you know nemesis of Rick and now Rick and you know now he's in he was in the prison cell and now you know I don't know I just but I did also start watch, watching fear of the the dead now I had watched the first three seasons and I started watching it last night. This started on the first season. I was like, wait a minute. I've already seen this. I had forgotten that I had started watching it. And that I had put it... I had kind of put it aside. So, now I'm on the fourth season, I think is what it was. Yeah, fourth season. So, I didn't like the first season at all. Just because of simple fact. It just... I don't know. I just didn't like, I guess, the characters. I don't know. Don't ask me. But now, fourth season looks to be a little bit more, um, you know, cool. Because uh, Dwight from Walking Dead is there. He, um, he comes, he goes wherever he's a part of the the fear of the dead show then uh morgan so i'm kind of you know wanting to see how that whole storyline becomes what it is so i don't know we'll see it's a little different i have to say because it's not like walking dead it, it i mean I just couldn't get into the first season. I mean, granted, it showed what happened on the other side of the country, on the West Coast, during what happened over here. Like with, you know, with Rick and all them. And it shows what happens with this other group on in California or wherever it is. And I, that first couple seasons, I just really couldn't get into it I mean I'll probably go back and watch it again just to get some kind of an idea of what's going on but I just couldn't I mean I watched it but I just couldn't get into it don't ask me why I don't know I don't know if it was because it was so much different so different than Walking Dead I don't know so um 
Let's see. That's what I've been doing lately. Um, Because it's hard to remember to play. I mean, it, it's hard playing catch up. Let me tell you. I have had, oh, goodness. It's not, it's been interesting. I've just been trying to like really, you know, play catch up and get some motivated. I mean, I'm motivated most of the time, but now today I'm not because of my back and stuff. But it's. It's nice to get back into the swing of things, even though it's being, I'm being, you know, kind of slow about it, but it is what it is, and it'll be all right, so that's okay, so that's, you know, it happens, um, let's see, what's next, um, uh, where is it, there it is, I'm trying to find this color. Now, let me tell you something. I'm sorry, but winter is going by too fast. I, it's already the last week of February. And winter and spring is coming. I, no, it's supposed to be 50 some degrees today. Going on 60. Now, I'm sorry. We, did, we had snow, but we didn't have a whole lot of snow. And I'm... I'm sorry. I just, I, I I don't know if it's because this is my favorite time of the year when fall and winter come. I don't know. But really, I, spring is coming already. Next month is spring. Seriously. I'm just not, mm -mm. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm ready to, you know, spring is coming. I get it. But I, it's going by, winter has gone by way too fast, for, in my opinion. But that's just me. I don't know. I, I just... I don't know. I'm just like, you know, kind of like, okay. I'm... Mm, I'm just not ready for all this yet. I mean, it's like too fast for me. Uh, maybe it's just me. I know other people are like, really? You didn't get... I, it's just me, people. I'm just, you know, one of those ones. Um, now, little dude's ready. Now, I, you know, I mean, he, we went to the store earlier to get um, a couple things, and he was excited because he was like, oh, fresh air. So, yeah, he was ready for the fresh air. And he's sitting in the, in the hallway listening to me talk. At least I think he is. And it feels weird when I'm sitting here doing my whip and chat and he's talking. He's sitting there listening to me talk. Because I feel weird. Because I feel like, really? Because it makes me feel crazy. But it is what it is. Because, yeah. But, um, mm. let's see. Um, gosh, I feel like. Don't mind me. I'm I'm losing it. I'm trying to re remember stuff. I didn't write anything down, guys. Sorry. I usually do. I just didn't write anything down. But I'm going slow here because I'm in the last little bit. And there's like only little colors here. Or uh, only so many. And I try not to pour so many out on the thing. Now, I was trying to... Now I forgot what I was going to say all that quick. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's bad when you can't remember what you were going to say. Oh my gosh. Um, because I don't remember what I was going to say and that was not where that goes. Or is it? Yes, it is. Um, mm, goodness. I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I can't remember what I was gonna say. Yeah, I know. I'm not don't don't hate. Um don't don't laugh at me. It happens when you get old. You you don't remember everything you're gonna say. Um Hmm. 
Miranda woke up yesterday morning with her eye swollen. Let me tell you, this poor child. She come out. She came out yesterday, and she looked at me, and she was like had her hand over her left eye and I said what in the world and she says this is what I woke up with and I was like oh my gosh her whole face was just swollen or her whole eye it wasn't swollen shut but it was enough that um I kind of I didn't get concerned but I kind of like was like okay you know what so I had her um, put uh, the um, I had her put um, a heating pad on it and also um, a hot compress because I told her I said you need, you really need to um, put that on there. It'll take the swelling down. And she kind of looked at me funny. And um, I told her, I said, what? And she's like, why? Um, I don't know. I really don't. I couldn't tell her. Couldn't tell her. It didn't look like she'd been bitten by anything because that was the first thing I checked for. And because, you know, she's been bit by a spider before. And not one that was poisonous, but she's been bit by one. So I, you know, checked to make sure because um didn't want that to happen. And no, she didn't, but I couldn't figure out the reason for it. So I just told her I said, "Well, just, you know, keep the hot compresses on it and if you don't want to do the hot compresses, you know, you can use the heating pad, which that was what she wanted to do." So she has the heating pad on. I had the heating pad on. It still was a little swollen um, yesterday. Now, this morning I haven't looked because she's not up yet. But, yeah, she... Because at first I thought it was pink eye. I was, like, freaking out because I pink eye is the worst. I don't, I don't like it. I've had it one time, and I, I refuse to ever get it again. And it, it's not a fun thing. So that was my first thought, but you know, it wasn't itching. Her eye was her eyeball itself. The white part of her eye wasn't red. So, which was that was the good thing. We made sure. So it was crazy. It was crazy. And poor child, she is like, I don't know why I had this happen. I, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. So I told her, just in case, that she needs to strip down her bed and um, her pillowcases just in case so that they can be washed, which unfortunately I can't, like, you know, take them down to the washing machines because we don't have washing machines in our building anymore and wash them. So I have to give them to my best friend and go from there and that could you know take a while so but she did she stripped her bed down and so forth and we're gonna go from there and see what happens but yeah and she's been pretty good about washing her hands and so forth and I know she didn't put her you know she doesn't put her hands on her face um so I don't know what what happened there but yeah she'll be all right she's you know hopefully when i look at when i see her when she wakes up this morning it won't be so bad so we'll see but um oh, trying to think if there's anything else before i get off of here and you know i really do think that's it guys i don't have anything else to share with you i feel like uh there is, but I don't think there is. So, I hope everyone has a great week. Thank you for watching. Thank you, um, again, thank you to those that did check up on me when I was sick. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm doing better now. And just thank you for all your support. Thank you for watching. 
if you're not subscribed please you know hit the subscribe button if you like the video please hit the, the like button and I will see you all next time and have a great week.